Hey everyone, this is Lisa Salvatore. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. And if you have been here before, thank you for coming back and stopping by. I'm going to do your readings for the month of August. If you do know your sun, oh, well, obviously you know your sun sign, but if you know your moon sign and your rising sign, I suggest you listen to those as well because you sometimes will resonate more with your other placements. I've also done a video on the big three in the birth chart, which is the sun, the moon, and the rising. I did that a while back and it'll be linked in the description box below. So if you do want to hear why I suggest listening to all of those three signs, there's a better explanation for you there. So I'm going to be doing this a little different this month. Um, I have these little easels here just so I can display the cards. I'm going to shuffle, um, off camera and have the cards already there when I do each sign just because it's easier for me to zone in and, and tune in when I don't have the camera on me because then I feel pressured like I have to hurry up and shuffle so I'm gonna do that off camera but then I'm gonna have the card set up and I'm going to um, intuit the cards and give you your reading for the month of August for all for each sign I'm gonna go from Aries all the way through to Pisces um, and each one will be for the Sun Moon and rising sign of that zodiac sign also, I am still doing private consultations. You can find all of my links below in the description box. And again, thank you for being here with me. Let's get started. Hey Aquarius, this is your reading for August 2020. This reading will be for Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and or Aquarius Rising. You might also be watching this for an Aquarius person in your life. So please take these messages and apply them where they belong for you. It may not always be exact because this is for a larger audience, but chances are if you're here, there will be a message in here for you. Um, I'm going to get right into it because I'm not just so you know, when I do my readings, if you've never been with me before, I don't focus on any specific um, area of life. I just kind of say, okay, spirit cards, give me messages for this sign, right? Um, and a lot of times there's a theme, most of the time there's not. What I will say is that what I'm tapping into right off the bat, and I, as I was shuffling your cards, Aquarius, I was hearing that song, oh geez, um, the name of the artist escapes me, and it's actually a song that I really like. I think it's, um, I'm not gonna sing, but, oh geez. Okay, sorry guys, my uh, OCD brain couldn't keep going intuitively until I got that. It's the song Perfect by Ed Sheeran. And I love that song and I can't believe I couldn't think about it just because I was completely in my zone as I was shuffling and that song kept running through my head. And um, <clears throat> yeah, wow, okay. So I feel like for a lot of the Aquarius that are watching this, you're either the recipient of this or you'll be the one doing this, but you definitely need to know that there is someone in your life that you've just met and you're wondering like, if this person is the one for you, okay, for the particular Aquarius people that this applies to. Um, and this is what I'll say. It does feel, because of that song that's running through my head, that this you and this other person absolutely feel a very strong connection to each other. This I would even dare to say this could be the one for you, okay? Um, and the way you'll know that is, because I'm looking here, when you meet your soulmate, you'll feel calm, no anxiety, and no agitation. So I feel like for a lot of you in the recent past, you did, you were with somebody that you thought was like your person, and you had a lot of battles with this person, and it ended up being not the right situation for you. And I'm even picking up on some addiction issues here for somebody that could have been involved with somebody with addiction issues, and it was really difficult for you to ex extricate yourself from the situation, but you've done it. And it does feel like either you've just recently met somebody new or you're about to. And so the message here can go both ways. It's either like, you know, you've already met this person and you feel super calm about it and positive, and you're right, this is a person for you to truly explore and be with, and that it's safe to take a leap of faith into the unknown with this person because there's a lot of passion and good energy here. Now. For those of you that have not met that person yet, but you're looking or wanting to meet that person, then this is an indication that you will be meeting somebody of significance. I feel like it's in Leo season, which is August, the month of August, because the sun is the central card for you. And the sun is the card that, you know, Leo rules, the sun rules over Leo. We're in Leo season. The month of August is Leo, most of it. So I do feel like in August, you're going to meet somebody really significant if you haven't already. And if you already have, then you'll know like this is something, yes, this is, I'm getting a very strong yes. I feel like you have had some really difficult battles in the recent past and um, things are absolutely moving forward in a really positive, passionate way. 
on the romantic scale for those of you that this applies to. Now, for those of you that this that where the romance part would not apply, what I would say to that is there's a totally different feeling I'm getting for some of the other Aquarians that are with me here in this video. And for you, it's something about like hard work. Um, as I say this, I'm feeling tr I'm having trouble breathing, so I feel like there's some sense of anxiety attached to some of what some heaviness attached to the Aquarian energy. Uh, it could be related to the full moon that's coming up because it's an Aquarius full moon uh, on August third. Could be that. It could just be feeling like um, this element of like <laughs> a battlefield, a battleground, like things seeming really difficult in the recent past for you, Aquarius. And then again, though, for the month of August with the Sun as the card, I feel like you know, things are looking a lot better. Um, there's a vitality coming back. There's a warmth coming back. There's, you know, just this feeling of like, okay, this is, this is going to be okay. We can breathe. This is going to be okay. We can take some chances, um, and trust in the unknown and, and have faith in the divine and God and, and, you know, our, our angels or whatever it is that you believe in, but knowing that they've got this, they've got your back and that things are going to be okay. Um, Passionate new beginnings here of all forms for this sign. So that comes in through, you know, a lot of different ways. It's not always just romantic, right? Passion. It's also our work. It's our, it's what we love. It's what we, you know, where we want to put our energy, who we want to invest our energy in. All of that is really prominent for the month of August for Aquarius. I also get, this is random, but um, I'm also getting something like a very strong teacher energy. So for some of the Aquarians that, that are watching this, I feel like there's a lot of questions about teaching, like school. Like, am I going back to school? How is this going to work? Um, oh my gosh, I'm so stressed out. And I specifically am picking up on computer programming for someone. So I just want to tell you that to please chill out a little bit because it is going to work out. And I feel like right now you can't see how that's going to be, but it is going to work out and you're going to find out how in August. And it almost feels like it's like the 11th hour. So it's like super last minute, you're waiting and you're just like, how is this going to work? And then at that last minute, it shifts around and all of a sudden there's a workable solution. So I want to tell you to try to relax about it, Aquarius, and know that the school situation will shift. Okay. Um, I really feel that strongly for a teacher in this group that's watching or some teachers that are involved, but there's just that energy of not to try not to worry so much about it because it will absolutely work out better than you think. And there's something about computer programming with that. So I just want to reiterate that. I'm going to get two more cards here for Aquarius for August. Actually, I said two, but we three of them came out. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to take them. So we have here, we've got the Emperor, we've got the Five of Wands, and we've got the Ace of Swords. Yeah, so definite clarity after battle. Definite clarity. I also feel um, strong father energy here. I'm picking up on that as well for someone. So somebody's father has been sick. I feel like there might even have been like surgery involved or there's about to be, and there's some testing coming up. I want you to know that he'll be okay. So if somebody needs to hear that, because there's a lot of worry here and anxiety over perhaps like a repeated sickness or something that has come up again, like you thought your father was okay, and then now it's coming up again, but but he will be okay. So I just want to stress that. Like I'm getting a sense of like there may be another procedure or tests or something like that, but that he will be okay. So for someone watching this, they're very concerned about their father because I definitely picked that up. Um, but he will be okay. So I just want to say that. All right, Aquarius. So I hope that that made sense for you. Again, as, with the sun as your central card, I just know that things are going to be, after a time of some strife and battling in the recent past, that August brings in some really good energy, positivity. Um, I'm finding the need to tell Aquarians to keep up with their vitamin C levels. Um, picking something up about that as well. So for some of you, there could be like a, you may not be feeling hundred percent. So I would say up your vitamin C because that seems to be what the issue is. Um, I keep focusing on the yellow of the sun. So I want to say like yellow peppers, you know, red bell pepper. I know red bell peppers have vitamin C, even though they're not yellow, they're high in vitamin C. So anything yellow for you, Aquarius works really well for the month of August. Um, and red bell peppers. <laughs> Take good care of yourselves, guys. I'll be back for you in September. Bye.